Give me a first class for those paper pens on it. Now, for this lab, what you're going to need is you're going to need your, well, of course, your lab guide. You will need your lab guide. You will need the filter paper from your kit. It's labeled filter paper, so you should be able to find that. You'll need three 100 milliliter beakers here. You'll need your dowel rod, and you will need black, red, and green permanent markers. If you can't find exactly black, red, and green, black, red, and blue it will do. And you just you need three different colors of permanent markers. Black, red, and green is the ones that they use in the lab instructions. You'll need a ruler, a pair of scissors, and you'll need some plastic wrap. Now what you're going to do to set up this lab is you're going to take a piece of your filter, you take some filter, some of your filter paper, you're going to cut it in half. Approximately in half will do. That way you have two strips basically equal length. You're going to take your dowel rod, or you can use a pencil, anything like that. You just need something to support the paper. You're going to tape it, the top of it, down to the paper so that when it goes into the beaker, it just hits the bottom. Now, you're also going to need some alcohol for this. This is your rubbing alcohol that you buy in the grocery store. So you just need some of that. So you want this to hit the paper just as it goes to the bottom. Now, take your ruler measure about two centimeters up your paper and at that point put a black dot. The instructions say a half millimeter black dot. It's just kind of a large black dot. Now for the purposes of this lab I'm just going to be doing the black or for the purpose of this video I'm just going to be doing the black. I'm not going to do the red and the green. When you're do actually doing the experiment you're going to do all three. But I'm just going to show you how to do it with the black. So you're going to want to put it there where it just hits the bottom, you're going to put your alcohol into it to about one centimeter, which is about 15 milliliters of alcohol. Just like that. Then you're going to drop this in here. I'm going to use this one for right now so that I'm not actually putting it in there yet. And you're going to cover the whole thing with plastic wrap just to keep the alcohol from evaporating as easily. This is the whole setup and then you're going to watch what happens. So let's take a look and see what happens, shall we?